Okay, so I like to think I'm someone who knows a fair bit about movies, but um, I've kind of written Netflix ones off for a while now. Um, and now I've watched this and I quite liked it. So um, am I missing things? Is Netflix making good films now? Like, I still need to watch Bird Box. <laughs> Starring amongst others, Ben Affleck, Oscar Isaacs, Charlie Hunnam, Garrett Hedlund and Pedro Pascal, directed by JC Chandor off of a screenplay that he wrote alongside Mark Bold. This is my review for Triple Frontier. Triple Frontier focuses on Oscar Isaacs' character, Santiago Pope Garcia. Um, everybody's got like middle names, by the way, uh, sort of nicknames that they use, so I'm just going to read through them. Uh, ben Affleck is Tom Redfly Davis, uh, then you've got Oscar Isaacs, Santiago Pope Garcia. Uh, William Ironhead Miller is Charlie Hunnam. Garrett Hedlund doesn't get one. And Petro Pascal is Fran uh, Francisco Catfish Morales. Uh, why didn't Garrett Hedlund get one? Seems a little unfair. I'm going to call him Ben Mighty Miller, just so he's not left out. Uh, but the story focuses on, as I say, Isaac's character who wants to recruit his old army special forces buddy together because he feels that they aren't getting what they should get in their post-army lives. That They're not getting looked after, they're not getting the care that they need, and they're not getting enough financial stability that they need either. He feels like they've all just been left to hung out to dry despite what they've been given to their country in the past. Um, and his plan is to get them all together and to go and rob a drug lord who has a lot of money hidden in his compound. He wants to go in, kill who they need to kill, get the money and get out. Um, and all the while saving a, a young little guy who's being held captive by somebody that he's got a bit of a relationship with. So yeah, this is a Netflix film. Um, I watched it because of the cast, um, but all of these, all of the main guys in this are actors that I really, really enjoy watching, so I couldn't not check this one out, but my hopes weren't high. It's Netflix movies, to me, I just think of things like Bright that just really aren't good. So there was no excitement for me to go in and check out an original Netflix movie, but I was hearing a lot about Bird Box, which I still haven't got around to watching. There's a couple of others that I've heard are pretty good as well, but Triple Frontier was... It's the first one that I've watched that I can remember. I mean, there may be others, but the first one I can remember watching that I've genuinely loved. Um, this is such a great film. Um, I, I'm surprised, actually, that it's ended up on Netflix. And I don't mean that as a detriment to Netflix as such. I just mean that this is a movie that I would expect to get a wide release. I'd expect to see on the big screen rather than just Netflix because some of this movie looks gorgeous. And it was helped that watching it at home, I get to see it in 4K, so that was nice. But... There's a lot of this film that just would have looked just great on the big screen. In particular, there's a sequence involving a helicopter in the second act, which, by the way, is the best act of this movie. It's where this movie is at its strongest, is in that act. But that helicopter sequence is breathtaking. It's so exciting to watch, and there's so many things going on that it's just a, one of the most solid action sequences I've seen in such a long time. And I think that was the point where I was like, shit, okay. Netflix can do stuff like this. I'm going to go watch some of their other stuff. I'm excited for what they're going to do now. And purely just from that sequence, that's where it all kind of clicked for me. Um, and it's not to say that Triple Frontier is a movie based on one great sequence. It's not. Um, the first act is a bit on the slow side. It takes a little while to get going while it's establishing all, who all these characters are. Um, it's not slow in a bad way as such. It just takes its time. It's not in any rush to get things going. Um, and it feels like it's going to be this heist that they're going to pull off is the end game. It's what we're working towards in this movie, and it's towards the end of that first act that it actually takes place. And that surprised me, and that's kind of the first point where I took notice, that it wasn't sort of resting on its laurels, it was really pushing the story forward. Because, yeah, this is the kind of thing that you think would be saved for the final act, and it wasn't. It's out of the way very quickly. And from there, the movie just builds. As I say, the second act of this film is... It's firing on all cylinders. So much of it works. Um, I got invested in these characters in ways that I weren't meant to. I was shocked by some of the things that these people were doing. And um, performance-wise, solid. Across the board, solid. This is the best I've seen Ben Affleck in quite some time. Um, he's a great actor. He is. I think he's been a bit overshadowed by everything that's going on with sort of Batman. Um, I'm glad he's moved away from that now. I'm glad a line's been drawn and he is no longer Batman because he's such a strong actor. And that part, while there were moments I thought he was a good Batman, it kind of limited him a little bit. It limited how good he can be. Uh, so to come out and do Triple Frontier pretty straight after that news came out, a wise move. He's so good in this film. He's a character who you think is the one who's got his head together. And as things go on, you see he's a bit of a loose cannon. He's somebody who, 
will just do what he thinks needs to be done regardless of how many casualties come about and it's something that puts a strain on this whole group and that's the really interesting thing is that this isn't just a movie where it's a bunch of guys with guns like yeah let's go shoot some shit like they are measured like they think about what they're going to do and their reactions to things that their friends do is really really interesting the last act slows things down again um um to mixed results i think it's the weakest act of the three how this movie wraps up and there's one one point of how this thing ends that i can't really go into because it's spoilers but it felt very unsatisfying but at the same time i'm kind of like well these guys kind of deserve that so but yeah it wasn't the most satisfying of endings but the more i think about it the more i think it was probably the best ending for them to go with and i appreciate it's difficult me talking so vaguely without revealing spoilers but um you'll know what i mean at the end it's quite a, quite a big part of the ending and there's a lot of surprises as well that this film has to offer um there's a twist in that last act that i really didn't see coming um it's much of a twist more of a, a shock more of a shocking moment and it really is shocking it's one of those where i kind of had to pause it and rewind it a little bit and just be like oh wait, wait did they just wow okay they did right on nice I like it when movies do that. I like it when movies subvert expectations. And this one, it does it a number of times, but there's just one particular moment in sort of the last half hour where it really does it. And it's so effective. Really though, this is a fun movie with some real dark moments to it. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that it's able to be, it's able to keep that sense of fun while at the same time not losing how dark some of the shit going down is. Because there is a lot of dark stuff happening. Um, and a lot of dark stuff that we see that these guys do. But there's still a sense of, of camaraderie between them of, of teamwork between them and fun like there is fun to be had here in some of the things that happen there's a great sequence involving um a fire um a fire that they start to try and keep warm at a certain point it's just a really nice scene so yeah on the whole triple frontier was a pleasant surprise for me i went in not expecting a lot and came out really really enjoying it and now my eyes are a little bit more open to netflix movies so you may see you may see me review some more of them on the channel at some point in the future there's one with woody harrelson that i completely forget the name of it's coming out next friday so yeah, that one, that will definitely be one I review. Um, I'm going to give Triple Frontier an 8 out of 10. Uh, have you seen Triple Frontier? If so, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And if you haven't, if you were like me and you were just like Netflix film, psh, uh, rethink it. Rethink it and go and have a look. You might be pleasantly surprised. I was. Uh, thank you very much for watching this review. Do hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more of them. Uh, plenty of reviews coming soon. I've got about another three to film now, actually. Uh, it's going to be a long afternoon. Uh, but they'll be released over the next few days. Um, us... I'll have a review up for over the weekend as well. We're hoping to get that up on Sunday. I'm very excited for that one. Uh, have you seen that yet? If so, let me know how good it is. The Get Out was brilliant. Can't wait to see us. Uh, but yeah, plenty of reviews coming soon. You can also follow me on Twitter as well, at Joe Julians, if you want to talk to me on there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.